Hi everyone, my name is Ola Jumoke Elkana, but I go by Ola. I am the owner of Flourish and um, we came up with this Flourish Instant Puff Puff Mix. So when you buy one or you grab one on our shelves, we have the instructions. The instruction is very, very simple. You pour in your, your puff puff mix in here. You had one and a half cups of water. I have one cup right here. I have the half right here and we'll mix it. And I already have warm water in here. So let's go. So you can just do this, open it up. So we have everything pre-mixed and you can ask us what we have in here. So we have the wheat flour, we have nutmeg, we have a little bit of salt, we have yeast, and we have sugar. So it's not really too sweet, it's just perfect. So this is one cup of water right here, warm water. I put my warm, one cup right here. I pour it into my mix. This is a half cup, because we're using one and a half cups of water. Right here. And what next? We'll mix, 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 and mix. Mix, 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 and mix. Without frying, it smells good already because the nutmeg smells yummy. So your batter should be something like this. It should not be too runny. It should not be too thick. It should be something like this. So this is your batter right here. So it's not too thick. It's not too thin. So when you're done with mixing, you get your foil paper. I'll put this right here. You cover it up. On the instructions, it says let it rise for 45 to 90 minutes. But sometimes, you know, with the issue of yeast, you can just let it rise for as long as you want, probably till it double its size. Then you're ready to fry. Let's wait till it rises and we'll come back and fry. We are back. Guess what? Our puff puff is ready. Look at that. This is what you should see. See? Double the size. So we are going to start frying. My hands are already washed and I'm on medium heat because I don't want it to burn. Because if it's on high heat, it will burn outside but it will not cook inside. Like I said before, I like using my hands and I like it in smaller bites. So my hands are washed. You can see my hands are wet and I'll do this. Whoa, this is what you should have. I like to do this again just to make sure. Okay. And now start frying. I do this because my heart is already hot. And I'll do this. Wow. My puff puff. I don't like mine too big. I like small bites. So I can just eat it in one or two bites. Can you see that? It's coming up by itself. Look at that. It's coming up by itself. Like I said before, can you see that one turned all by itself? So this will be the last one. I don't want to overcrowd it. I'm going to play around with it. Can you see that is actually turning by itself? But if there's no space, can you see that? If there's no space for it to turn by itself, it won't. Can you see that? So that's puff puff. When your puff puff is doing this, then you know you're doing the right thing. So I'll turn this by myself. Looks like I put too much, but apart from that, ooh. And don't forget our puff puff, we have five flavors. This is the regular one. We have the chili spicy, we have cinnamon, we have chocolate puff puff, and we have coconut. So depending on the flavor you want, we have it. You need to smell this puff puff. My house is smelling so good. Now look at that. That one's turning by itself. So if you overcrowd your pot, it can't turn by itself. So it's on medium heat. So I'm gonna let it cook, but you know puff puff, you can walk away from it. But it's looking good. Look at that. I just took this to that. When your puff puff looks like this, it is ready. Look at that. Golden brown. So what I do, because you know, I put in a little sieve with a paper towel so that the paper towel will take some of the
There you go. That's it. And just to prove that it's all done, look at that. It's hot, but I love it like that. See? Beautiful. Thank you.